Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out a new vid from uh, Pika Magic about giving more starter Pokemon Gigantamax forms. Now from what I've uh, seen just from the first few seconds, the audio is very quiet so if I have to talk about anything I'll, I will have to pause because, well, just listen. In Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, we were introduced to 32 It's very quiet, so I literally have to pause, otherwise uh, you won't be able to hear anything he's saying. So, let's uh, try to listen in on what he's got to say. Gigantamax forms between the base games and the Isle of Armor DLC. Six of those forms were for starter Pokemon, specifically nice. the Gen 1 and Gen 8 starters. So, what if more starter Pokemon got Gigantamax forms? Let's okay. find out. Let's see what he's got in mind. Hey everyone, Brandon here. So Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are fastly approaching, which means we are also approaching the official end of Generation 8. And with it, it's gimmick, Dynamax it. and Gigantamax. While I know it's pretty broken competitively, the designs of Gigantamax forms are some of the coolest in the franchise. Mm -hmm. So as a sort of send off to Gen 8 and this gimmick, I thought it would be fun to take a look at a sort of what if. Like, what hmm. if we had gotten more G-Max forms in the Isle of Armor, or some added to the Crown Tundra? Maybe Very if we cool. had gotten a third title like Pokemon Gun. <laughs> or if Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl had followed in the footsteps of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and actually added the gimmick of that generation. Instead of being a buggy, lifeless they husk didn't. of a remastered slow game. Oop, I said what I said. On, folks. So today... We're back. Today, we're going to take a look at some starter G-Max forms by PokeJmon and Elite Four over on Instagram. All and right. later on this month, we'll take a look at some more general G-Max forms. Anyway, nice. let's get started with the Sinnoh starters. This is an example of what if BDSP had incorporated Dynamax into it somehow. It I know, cool. Dynamax is exclusive to Galar because of Eternatus, but maybe this yeah. could have been an alternate universe situation similar to how they handled Mega Evolutions with Oris. Mm -hmm. So starting us off is Gigantamax, Ooh. Torterra, and my goodness, would you look at this thing. Torterra has become a full planet. This plays into its inspiration of the world turtle, but taken quite literally. It is a turtle world, and we're just living in it, apparently. <laughs> we all live in a turtle world. I, I want to be really the cool. greatest turtle of them all. Anyway, design-wise, this thing is just so epic. The sense of grandeur you get from this thing is unmatched. I gotta say, it's really cool as well because, uh, look, it's got the Sinnoh Mountain there. No, it's got an orbital ring with a uh, meteor as well. Huh, I wonder what the shiny of this would look like. Like, would the green just be kind of uh, the more yellow like we already, already get? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it is perfect for a Gigantamax form. You have the sense of scale of a planet, which fits in with Gigantamax very well. Truly You have great. the ring going around it, which is similar to Saturn, and on that ring and surrounding it, which has it has its own orbit, by the way. <laughs> um, but in its orbit are Minior and some little bits of asteroid or or pieces of Earth Little or something minions. like that that have are now circling it. I am curious where on the globe this is supposed to replicate or if this is supposed to replicate the Pokemon world or what it's trying to replicate there or if anything at all. Maybe it's just its own original Torterra planet. But this gives me everything I would have wanted out of a Gigantamax Torterra form. Next up, we have Gigantamax Ooh. Infernape, and it's playing so much into that Sun Wukong or Sun Goku inspiration by giving it this giant fiery cloud similar to Love Cinderace's it. giant fireball. The cloud is meant to reference Sun Wukong's cloud, Somersault, or Flying Nimbus as it's more commonly known, which is just genius. Mm -hmm. I love that they play more heavily into their design inspirations like they the did staff, with though. Torterra and uh, they do with uh, spoilers, Empoleon. And I love <laughs> playing more heavily into its design inspiration. I mean, it's even given it more armor, which a lot of depictions of Su Sun Wukong or Sun Goku have that more heavily armored appearance. Very the detail nice that I look. find kind of funny is that it has this belt-like protrusion coming out of its waist, and it's white, so it, it's like a white belt, which is a novice in most forms of martial arts. True. This super huge, True. mega epic Gigantamax Infernape is a white belt. We all got to start somewhere, I guess. <laughs> Every part of this design fires off in at 11 with the cloud with the like swirls in it that replicate the swirls and its armor and the long flowing mane, giving it a flame tail, kind of like Charmander, nice. just armoring it up, 
making it like more the epic, Clonos, which is perfect no. for Gigantamax. Last but not least of the Sinnoh starters oh. is Gigantamax Empoleon. Another and look at this. In the wave, you can actually see many different mons. We got a Whale Lord, a Whale Mo, a Tentacruz. I think that's an Inklay. And you a Stall Use. There's the Jellicent line. And Wishy Washy, Seahorse. Well, so you can see a lot of mons. Nice. Another design with the elements of the Pokemon at the forefront of its design. Like with Infernape, where it had the fiery cloud, this Empoleon has a giant tsunami wave. And inside the tsunami, there's a bunch of fish Pokemon. We have Whaler, <laughs> yes. Whale Lord, Love Disk, Staryu, Jellicent, Frillish, oh, love Wishy Disc. Washy, I didn't point that one out. Uh, Mantine, Mantike, Tentacool, Chincho. Mm -hmm. or see all of those in there it's freaking crazy all of them. it's giving me massive aquaman vibes you know summoning fish to your aid giant epic tsunami aside which you know kind of hard to put that aside because it's so cool <laughs> but anyway that aside the design of gigantamax and poly on itself without the wave is also super cool because it's been given this Definitely. literal trident evoking that poseidon inspiration and it's more puffed up fluffy got this big old collar this giant looks like, like an actual penguin now i don't know what to call it like <laughs> crotch spike i guess but it's all trying to emulate a more lavish french garment to reference <laughs> its french inspiration with napoleon i mean it's a major part of his name so of course it would play into it but i just love how they managed to incorporate french plus greek plus giant tsunami plus aquaman and it all comes together seamlessly just an incredibly solid design and i wish 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 this was real i love empoleon it's one of my favorite been great. Starters, and my god if this thing was real i would use empoleon every day of the week mm -hmm. if you've been oh well and and we're back sorry about that this far into the video hit that like button also subscribe and hit that notification bell because it helps support this channel and you can keep up to date with future videos just like this one <laughs> next up we have the gen 2 starters gen 4 and gen 2 are pretty synonymous with each other given the heart gold and soul silver came in the same generation mm -hmm. as diamond and pearl I mean, and starting us off is the grass starter Ooh. of gen 2 gigantamax meganium holy goodness gracious me is this so mm. epic it just gives me the vibes of you know Looks little like an actual dinosaur from, from the land before time that's like original meganium and then this meganium is like its parents i don't know why that's just the vibes <laughs> it gives me i love the addition of these kind of fiery flowers around its wrists and making the the petals of the flower around its neck kind of flow up it, it all looks kind of fiery in nature almost like evoking a grass fire type though you know, Gigantamax forms don't change typing. Yeah, Honestly, Meganium is one of my least anything. favorite starter final Except evolutions. I really like Chikorita and Bayleaf, but then Meganium, I don't know what it does. It just does, doesn't do it for me. But if this design existed, I feel like I would like it a one. little bit more. Next up, we have Gigantamax, Typhlosion, and good Holy Lord crap. in heaven, is this the most epic thing I have ever seen? Holy goodness gracious, Look at is that. this thing cool? It's got a swirling smoky plumage that's trying to evoke a volcano around its neck little chunks of flames yeah. firing off of it kind of evoking magma as it's exploding out of a volcano i truly cannot put into words how much i love this design there was this mega evolution concept Great, look, for typhlosion a while back that had smoke as its primary like design feature and this evokes that for me heavily and i love that mega so i love this as well some little design nice. details i'm just now noticing is that it has these little spikes underneath its arms coming out of its arms the, the tail is more spiky and even there's spikes coming out of the smoke itself all trying to emulate the little True. spiky collar that typhlosion has that is one of the reasons we love it so much i imagine this <laughs> thing having its own gmax move like gmax volcano or gmax eruption i know eruptions already moved but gmax volcano where G -Max it volcano explodes cool. all this magma onto the field hits it with a burn like burn damage and then leaves kind of like poor visibility after with ash and smoke all around i know that sounds all pretty fits. broken but you know gigantamax forms were already broken as it is so <laughs> this is truly one of my so favorite gigantamax designs ever proposed and finally for the johto starters we uh, have gigantamax for alligator it's all armored up now extra spiky which i love the little spikiness of for alligator so enhancing that makes me love it a lot and it's all armor that giving me kind of a dreadnought feeling to it even having this like big old jaw underneath with like it almost looks like a crown around its head that's how big this the little under bite is it's just like a king <laughs> croc like maybe it could have like g max king croc and like it's a giant bite or something like that i don't know could you be. can get super maybe. flinched by it this design is so cool and plays up all of my favorite things about for alligator 
Next, we have Gigantamax Greninja. Ooh. And unfortunately, it's just Greninja, no Delphox or Chestnut. They only did Greninja, so well, this is the only thing I'll be showing. I couldn't get this commissioned or anything like that, so I'm limited to what I have here. But this design is top tier. It's giving me Rasen Shuriken from Naruto. It's giving me Summoning Jutsu I get from Naruto. From it. It's giving me Naruto, like it Naruto, does what Naruto, Naruto. Does. I love how it plays into that epic ninja illustration that Naruto gives off, obviously. It's very inspired by that. You know, they, ha they have the frog jutsus from Naruto that also play into this as well. It also yep. very much emulates Cinderace's giant fireball and Rillaboom's giant drums. Taking an aspect of the hmm. original design okay. and enhancing it, you know, i.e., Greninja's Shuriken, Water Shuriken is his signature move, and then you have the Fireball from Cinderace and the drums from Rillaboom as well. Still think it's weird that Rillaboom Shinobi. can hide its drums <laughs> behind its nice. back and just no one sees it. Like, does it have like shrinking technology, like a Pokeball? Like, how does that work? I re I re I'm mm. very curious. I just read the description and it says Jiraiya, is that you? Which is just perfect. Just the <laughs> cherry on top of this. Why design. not? Last but not least, from Pokejamon, we have Gigantamax nice. Superior. Once again, only Superior, no Embor or Samurott. Superior has never looked better. I love this. It just... Now, if this was actually a form that was implemented in the games, Superior would definitely be in the right to get the, the name of the Norse board serpent, Jormungandr. Nice. Elongates it, makes it this giant snake, kind of emulating a Titanoboa. Gives it this enormous French collar, just like like someone just popped that collar to the extreme. Also kind of <laughs> reminds me of a peeled banana, which I guess plays into the grass type. Eh, kind of. Kind of. Another thing I love about this thing is that you Your can see the little Dynamax God. swirls around its neck. I forgot <laughs> to mention this, but Meganium has that same thing, and I love that about it too. I also just noticed its red beaming eyes, which is incredibly intimidating. I mean, just Definitely. imagine this enormous snake looming over you with these terrifying red eyes. I mean, are you kidding? That's so scary. But that just makes me love it more because I just love when I can imagine a story around a fake bond design. That's something that really Truly makes is it the world Poke Jamon also did their own Gigantamax Ooh. Torterra interpretation, and I wanted to talk about it because look how epic this it's thing kind of is. Tree. It's got the Dyna like tree on its back, which is just perfect because Torterra has his tree on its back, and the Dyna tree is a Dynamaxed tree, so it oh, makes total sense. It adds nice. these craggy cliff faces, almost mountainous cliff faces that surround the Dyna tree, almost like protecting it in a way Torterra gets this like spike beard which is so cool it gives me kind of like <laughs> nice. viking energy somehow i mean the world turtle isn't exactly viking inspired but that's what it gives me so i'm gonna roll with it it gives me that it's same vibe nice, as the though. giant epilogue it. from pokemon legends arceus now i just want to yeah, see a gigantic epilogue that's like a giant mountain iceberg has anybody done that i hope someone's done that Anyway, that's all the Gigantamax <laughs> starter forms for this video, so make sure... Okay, well, I gotta say, uh, this video was nice, except the audio issue, which isn't on me. But, uh, hey, hey, to let all of you know, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video, so remember to support the original creator and all they do, and maybe let Brandon know about the audio issue, but by the time you all see this, he probably already does. So, that's, uh, gonna be it for now. I'll see all of you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.